Recent summers have brought record heat to the Pacific Northwest, and recent winters have not produced the usual snowfall. That's resulting in higher water temperatures and lower water levels in rivers and streams. And salmon are feeling the effects. These fish are more than an entree at your favorite restaurant. They are an integral part of the Pacific Northwest ecosystem, serving as a food source for many species. But salmon are dying at hatcheries and in streams before they're able to reproduce. Nearly all of salmon populations are anadromous, and that means that the adults migrate from the ocean into their natal streams to, um, to breed, to spawn, and then they have a freshwater rearing cycle. So they rear in freshwater, and then they outmigrate the ocean, where they spend one to seven years um, growing very large before returning to complete that life cycle. But extreme heat has brought added danger to some parts of their journey. Pacific salmon are cold water fish and can start to experience problems when the water gets too warm. Salmon, definitely there's a, a thermal optimum. That's about 15 degrees Celsius. And then when you, when you begin getting above that, um, you begin to see sort of negative effects on growth, on their, their physiology, um, and then the thermal maximum that can lead to death begin at about 20 degrees Celsius. Hatcheries in Washington state that try to boost salmon populations by incubating eggs under optimal conditions have reported seeing increasing numbers of adult fish dying in stream beds before they can spawn. In addition to the heat, dwindling winter snowpack has deprived salmon spawning grounds of an important source of water. Heavier rainfalls in the fall and winter months have also worked against salmon reproduction by wiping out their spawning grounds. Hatcheries are now accounting for climate change in their management plans to try and help stem the population decline. Hatchery practice things like timing of release. There's certainly plenty of habitat alterations or mitigation pro or projects that our agency and other agencies are involved with. So restoring habitat, trying to uh, improve sort of estuaries and other types of um, rearing habitat. So plenty of uh, habitat projects to improve that, that rearing, early rearing habitat that's so vitally important for salmon.